Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how to properly level your towable RV. First, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can click the bell icon and you'll be notified when we post new videos like this. If you like product videos, instructional videos, and all things RV, make sure you subscribe to our Byerly RV YouTube channel. Now, most of the time, we show up at even a improved campsite, it's not perfectly level. And we need our RV to be level for our appliances to work right and to be comfortable. So not all of us have automatic leveling on our RVs. So today, we're going to take a look at how to properly level a towable RV. When you arrive at your campsite, you should get out and take a look around and find the most level spot on your site to park. Go ahead and back in, but don't unhook yet because we need to check our level. Okay, it looks like we're pretty far off. I'll meet you guys outside. So since we're off side to side, what we need to do is we need to raise the low side of the travel trailer. And the way we do that is we're actually going to put something underneath the tires and back up onto it. Today, I'm going to use these. These are like little building blocks that you can stack. There's a lot of different products out there that you can use. There's really nice graduated ramps that you can use. Some people cut their own wood for this. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna try one level here. We're gonna put one layer of blocks down and we're gonna put it down behind both tires and back up onto this and see how we did. Okay, let's see how we did. Almost got it. Okay, so it looks like we're still a little off. So we're gonna stack one more block behind each tire and let's see if that does it. Okay, let's see how we did. Wow, it's not gonna get much better than that, guys. Okay, now that we're side to side level, we need to get front to back level. Now, a lot of folks have installed little levels on the outside of their trailer to make this easier. Since I don't have those, I'm gonna take that handy level I used earlier, I'm gonna put it right here on the tongue, and I'm just gonna crank my tongue jack up or down to get it level. Now, we're not done yet. Now that we're level front to back and side to side, we want to lower our stabilizer jacks down. Now we call them stabilizer jacks, not leveling jacks, because we're going to use these to just take the movement out of our floor. We're just going to snug them up with the ground, and that's going to give us a nice solid floor to walk around on. Most of us have manual crank jacks, so we, have, we were provided with some sort of tool to crank the jacks up and down with. And I know a lot of you are going to read the directions right on the jack that says, don't use a drill. And I know you're going to anyway, so all I have to say on that is, if you're gonna do that, run the jacks up and down at a slow speed. You don't have to race them up and down as fast as the drill will go. That will keep you from damaging them. Now, this particular trailer here has power stabilizers, so we're gonna hit the button and lower those down and snug them up at the ground. There we go, now that we are level, chocked and stabilized, we can go ahead and finish setting up camp. Guys, if this was a good video for you and you like these type of things, make sure you subscribe to the Byerly RV YouTube channel and click that bell icon to be notified when we put out new videos. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.